Hello and welcome. So in the last videos, I've been asking you about a series idea I had, and most of you guys seem like you guys are for the idea. Basically, the series is a money-making series of how to start with nothing and make your way up to 5 bill. Most of the series is how I made money when starting out, and the first part of the series will primarily focus on money making. Later in the series, I'll start spending money on skills such as herb lore and prayer for overloads and turmoil. And I'll also be doing some dungeoneering so that I can get my first chaotic on that account. I'll most likely be getting a chaotic rapier as my first chaotic. It really helps against dragons and it could be a money making method I'll eventually do for frost dragons. Also, the DPS on it is really good for Slayer, which I'll eventually get to 99, but that's much later in the series. Now, early in the series, it's just me gathering resources, selling it in the GE, and buying items back, such as weapons, to further increase efficiency of killing whatever I may be doing. Most of it will be PBM, but then starting out, it'll probably have some skills, or it might, it might just be Whiteberry picking in the Wildy to start off. That's decent cash per hour and it has no requirements. In the previous video, I asked for what you guys wanted for a series idea. So the top comment was nils to bills. Well, it doesn't have the S, but I think I'll just add the S because it's five bills, so it's plural. So nils to bills had 185 thumbs up. Zero to hero had 88 thumbs up. Now, I'm not sure where I'll fit the road to five bill. It'll be in the title, but I'm not sure how I'll put it in the thumbnail. So if you guys have any thoughts on that, please tell me in the comments below. Also, tell me which title you like more, Nails to Bills or Zero to Hero. Now, I've added a thumbnail in the picture. That's how it will probably look like. And there's also on the bottom left, there's some long-term goals, such as getting a Dragon Defender, Barrel Set, God Wars Armor Set, God Sword Set, so on and so on. Eventually a completionist cape and solo everything, every item in the game. I'm not sure about Corp. The Corp has a very terrible drop ratio, so I might just do that with loot share, where I have to loot share a Divine, Ellie, Spectral, and Arcane. And probably the same for next, where the drop actually has to go to me. Now this is the account I'll be using. You can see the stats here. This used to be my main account. I'll mostly be playing with chats off, but I'll still be chats on on smoke. Now, if I go to G, uh, there's like a bunch of seeds. Now, these seeds are what I used to use for mobilizing army. They're really good for the GP to reward, no, investment point. I think that's what it's called. I put offers in for one GP and they're worth like 16 GP or so. They're really good. And if you look at my bank, there's like bunny ears right there. I I also have one on a level 30. No, I think it's level 80 now. But if you look at the rest of the bank, I used to do free-to-play PK for a really long time. I did free-to-play no armor PK with monk robes, rune scimitar, and I would have a dragon battle axe as a switch. Well, this was before gravite went. It was actually really fun to PK in, uh, what was it, free-to-play bounty hunter crater where everybody goes in, then you fight, you have to three minute penalty. Then once I got into members, I started P2P PK with, uh, I had a lot of friends that P PK'd, but that was back when they had the Bounty Hunter world. When free trade came back, a lot of people went to staking, lost their bank, quitted, and PK just wasn't, it, it wasn't as popular. And it's a lot harder to find people now, so, Basically, you're hopping around worlds. When you actually find somebody, you're not prepared. Everybody's like, half the team's AFK, only the leader is still awake. Before I started doing the whole PKing thing on this account, I was doing skilling a lot. I got 85 money in free-to-play. Well, some of it was in pay-to-play, but then it was still pretty bad EXP at the time. There was like no living rock cavern. So I have like 10 scout accounts, and I would go to... I think it's like 44 Wildy, and I would mine the Renite Ore and have scout accounts hop around. That didn't last too long, like the, after I died once from getting PK'd, I gave up and started just PK'ing. Now this account has decent stats, but then there's like the low summoning, it's level 61, 63 farming. Runecrafting wasn't that bad, I did 
um, it wasn't ZMI. It was, I did Nature Runes for EXP. I think that was it. And that was back then when there was a lot of RC PKers where they stand next to the Zami mage and they would have TB and binds ready. And then every time they kill you, you lose your pouch. So every time that would happen to me, I would lose my glory. I gear up, I go back, and they're gone already. Construction's kind of low, it's not great. It's going to be one of the later skills I level up. That's probably when I have more cash to work with. I've been doing some uh, free-to-play dungeoneering on this account. It's level 62. I probably shouldn't have done that. I could have done a series where I show people how to do dungeoneering when they start out. Because level 1 to around 80, that's like the hardest part of dungeoneering, starting up. Once you get higher level dungeoneering, it's a lot easier. People know what to do, but it's the start that is really hard to do. It's hard to find people that know what to do because most people are new. I remember when the generic first came out, I had no idea what prestige was. And my friend actually got me to reset my prestige twice. But I thought that was the right thing to do because I honestly didn't even read the homepage about what the generic was. Now this was way before the whole next thing. That was like a year or two before. The first boss, the first large floor I had, the boss was a behemoth, the one that eats. Um, we got stuck on it. Uh, I went around fishing for food, cooked it on a tier 1 log. I didn't know that tier 10 or a higher tier log would make it burn less. So it was a 5-man team in a large floor. We found the boss. We had no idea what to do with the boss, but I could tell that you had to block it from eating the pigs or else it'll heal. But the problem was it was kind of hard to get people to last long enough before it would start eating. Then eventually it came, uh, one person quit, another person quit, so on. Eventually I rage quit it, and that was like 90 minute floor just to end up rage quitting. That was pretty bad. Some of the rewards from the engineering I'll be getting is the scroll of life for farming, herbicide when I do slayer, so that I don't have to spend as much money on herb lore supplies. Bone Crusher when I do Slayer because I'm only 90 uh, prayer and I have to get 95 for turmoil. Oh, I have to do that temple at Senestine. I don't know how you pronounce the quest, but it's turmoil quest. I think that was it. Um, I'm going to get a Chaotic Rapier as the first one for Slayer. It really helps for the Metal Dragons. Anti-Poison Totem. I'm not sure if I should do that for Thieving because I heard the Thieving Monkey Guards is much better EXP per hour, but it's a lot more work. Now eventually I'll get around to being able to do next, but that's way later. I've never tried a full armor, like wearing armor top, bottom, and helmet next. Like when it was new, it was void, but by the time I could afford Pernix, people started using armor. Also, I'll eventually need to get Rigor and Augury so that I could get the completion escape, but that's much later. Now this series will probably take a really long time, like say you make 10 mil per hour, that's a minimum of 500 hours of work, and I won't make that much for a long time. There's also a few quests I have to do, the void stairs back, well all this eventually I have to do for completion escape, but not so long term would be the void stairs back for the crossy sword, nomads requiem for the soul wars cape. While Guthic Sleep would really help with the EXP lamps, as well as give me access to TDs, the ROTM for Glacors, as well as a 5% damage for God Wars. Is it only God Wars? I've never tried it anywhere else, or I'm not sure. There's Overload, I, that's gotta be one of the more, it's not so long term, because it would really help when I do PVM such as God Wars or really anything. So this series is kind of what I did to get up to where I was. So I would also do like Fire Cape, the Rhino Cape, which is really easy now since it's just a tank fest. And you can do it at, well if you could finish the quest, you could finish the kiln. It just depends how much you are going to spend. Because you could get to 1 to 36 using no food if you blood barrage, or if you spend a lot of money on purple sweets. 
Then there's the Dominion Tower. I need to get 500 kills. I mean, 500 boss kills for Drendips. Oh, I didn't shoot. I'm not sure if I did the Do No Evil quest. Because if you don't do all the quests and go to Dominion Tower, you can actually get decent prayer EXP per hour, depending on what quests you have not done. Because if you haven't done the hard bosses, then you won't encounter them. Then it's just easy bosses. Which is really good for Dreadnips. So I'll probably be doing the Dominion Tower before I start doing hard quests like Do No Evil. I'll have to look this up. But that's not till like maybe a few months later. So the series is mostly going to be in like in the first part of the video. I had to plan steps in the middle column. It was first money making. Then money making with skills. I'll do some flipping in GE. There's some really cheap stuff you can flip for a decent amount of cash. I did this when I was starting out. It made like 10 mil per hour at the time. It probably could still make that much, but well, uh, I have to get up to that part. Um, eventually, I have to do Dungeoneering and finally Completion Escape. I'll do some PK and minigame stuff, but that's maybe one or two episodes, I'm not sure. And this is pretty much all I have planned for the series. Tell me what you think about the ideas I have, the goals, and if you have something you want to add, leave a comment below and I'll add it to the list. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.